All right, today we are going to work on the samba. Okay, here's the problem with the samba. The samba's always been kind of rattly and shaky. I don't know, when we're doing like 60 miles an hour on third, you can kind of hear the motor. You're not supposed to hear the motor. It's electric, it's supposed to be completely quiet. And it's been getting worse and worse uh, ever since three years ago when I first put it together. And I was attributed to being my fault because I chopped off a piece of metal that wasn't supposed to be there and uh, all that stuff, right? But as it turns out today, we took it apart uh, just to see if we can do something. And we, maybe we're gonna have to change some parts or whatever. But here's the thing, here's the motor. Uh, you can hear the hum because it's actually on. And so I, it's actually, everything is back connected. We connected everything so that we can run it just to see if we can tell at what RPM it starts shaking. And yeah, sure enough, around 1100 RPMs, then it starts shaking and starts wobbling. The motor wanted to like wobble away and stuff. Problem is this pressure plate here, it's supposed to be like high performance or whatever. It's a piece of crap. Uh, it, this center portion here is off to one side. And so when you spin it, you can see it. Oh, I just spin this other one. And so we were thinking that we were gonna have to buy another one, but you know, why buy something or you can just hack it, right? This is a DIY thing. What I noticed is that this pressure plate here has extra holes. And I think I threaded them back in the day because I thought, well, maybe I can balance it. Maybe I can. I like the patience back then to do it. And so I think I just dropped it. I put it on and I thought, well, the, the wobble's not that bad. It's only when you're doing 60 miles an hour on third, I just put it on fourth. And so now that it's actually gotten worse, if we can actually fix it, let's fix it, right? And so that's what we're doing. We Using those threaded screws, now we're just uh, trying to place bolts. Uh, in different locations um, to see if we can counteract the fact that this piece right here is off. And that's what we're trying to do. And I think we actually got it. Uh, so over here is gonna spin the motor up to 2500 RPMs. Yeah, I can put my hand on the motor here assembly and I mean, you, you can feel that the motor is spinning, but there's no vibrations anymore. And so even though you can visually see that the thing is like wobbly or whatever, we counteracted that by putting extra weight, by putting these tiny little bolts um, on two places. Now we're gonna throw it back together. It should take us, I don't know, 20 minutes to put it back together. And then we're gonna be back on the road. We'll test this on the road to see how it feels. All right, let's get this done. All right, time to test our fix here. Um, so it turns out it didn't quite get all the rattles and shakes because most of the time it's gonna be running above to 2000 RPMs and that's how much we tested while it was on the ground. It's kind of scary to have a thing spinning fast, you know, with so much mass. But we'll see. We'll see if it actually is gonna feel better or if it's gonna be the same. I don't know. So it's another day and the saga continues with the Samba. What I'm gonna do now is gonna attempt to check to see how the alignment is. Um, I don't have time to take it to a proper place. So I'm just gonna attempt to do a DIY version and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Alright, so here's what we're doing using some yarn. We have shot two lines running on either side of the bus. Here's the bus. Here are the, the tires, the four tires. And I have made them so they're three and a half inches from the back of the tire to the front of the tire. So that means these this line is running parallel to this tire, and this line here is running parallel to this tire. What we're gonna do right now is gonna measure the distance between the two lines here. And then we're gonna measure that line, that that distance up here in the front. If those two tires are facing parallel to each other, which is perfectly straight, this dimension here and dimension in the front should be close, should be fairly close. 
But if there's a big difference between those two dimensions, that means either the tires are, you know, open, those like that, or, or open or close. And that's not a good thing to have that in the back or in the front. I'm actually, we're actually gonna check both the front, front and back. <laughs> All right, so we just got our measurements. It's 67 and 1 8. It's 67 and 15 16 in the front. Those tires are open like this. So they're rolling and that's not good. Yeah, so it's three quarters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix the back. I'm going to close them up. And then after that, then I can do, I can check the front. so this is how we fix this we move this axle forward about a quarter inch and then we move that axle forward about a quarter inch these are elongated holes and so what happens is that with time the forces make that axle move back about a quarter inch which opens it up and then which means it's gonna start wearing the tires and it's, it doesn't feel very stable on the road so I just stuck some pieces of like some little screws in there to prevent that from coming back again that's just a temporary fix i have an idea how to fix it permanently but for this trip i think it's gonna be much better all right folks we're on our way now i just fixed the samba hopefully it's gonna work a lot better we got about a hundred plus mile trip to the desert it's gonna be fun all right, we hit a little bit of traffic, but no problem. All right, guys, here's what's happening. We just made it to the park. Here's a problem though. 120 amp hours, 106 volts. I'm gonna know how much juice we got. It's a huge park. I hope I don't waste it all in there and then I don't have enough to get up here. It's like. 10 miles north from here uh, where the RV park is at and that's where we're supposed to charge tonight so that we can make it back home tomorrow so was there a plug at the restroom uh-uh no plug whatsoever I even looked at the little guard house whatever no no plugs Today, I'm gonna work on the Samba. Here's the problem with the bus. I have a secret button. It's a forward reverse button. Don't tell anyone. And I guess it's going bad, so I, we need to change it today. Let me use my own homemade DIY light here. We're in San Onofre Beach and we're here for Big Wednesday, which is tomorrow. Oh no, Timmy's all hooked up. 